In mass spectrometry, matrix-assisted laser desorption, ionization MALDI, is an ionization technique that uses a laser energy-absorbing matrix to create ions from large molecules with minimal fragmentation. It has been applied to the analysis of biomolecules biopolymers such as DNA, proteins, peptides and sugars and large organic molecules such as polymers, dendromers and other macromolecules, which tend to be fragile and fragment when ionized by more conventional ionization methods. It is similar in character to electrospray ionization ESI in that both techniques are relatively soft low fragmentation ways of obtaining ions of large molecules in the gas phase, though MALDI typically produces far fewer multi-charged ions. MALDI methodology is a three-step process. First, the sample is mixed with a suitable matrix material and applied to a metal plate. Second, a pulsed laser irradiates the sample, triggering ablation and desorption of the sample and matrix material. Finally, the analyte molecules are ionized by being protonated or deprotonated in the hot plume of ablated gases, and then they can be accelerated into whichever mass spectrometer is used to analyze them. Topic. History The term matrix-assisted laser desorption ionization was coined in 1985 by Franz Hillenkamp, Michael Karas and their colleagues. These researchers found that the amino acid alanine could be ionized more easily if it was mixed with the amino acid tryptophan and irradiated with a pulsed 266 nanometers laser. The tryptophan was absorbing the laser energy and helping to ionize the non-absorbing alanine. Peptides up to the 2,843 Dalton's peptide melatonin could be ionized when mixed with this kind of matrix. The breakthrough for large molecule laser desorption ionization came in 1987 when Koichi Tanaka of Shimadzu Corporation and his co-workers used what they called the ultra-fine metal plus liquid matrix method that combined 30 nanometers cobalt particles in glycerol with a 337 nanometers nitrogen laser for ionization. Using this laser and matrix combination, Tanaka was able to ionize biomolecules as large as the 34,472 Dalton's protein carboxypeptidase A. Tanaka received one quarter of the 2002 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for demonstrating that, with the proper combination of laser wavelength and matrix, a protein can be ionized. Karas and Hillenkamp were subsequently able to ionize the 67 KDA protein albumin using a nicotinic acid matrix and a 266 nanometers laser. Further improvements were realized through the use of a 355 nanometers laser and the cinnamic acid derivatives ferulic acid, caffeic acid and cinepinic acid as the matrix. The availability of small and relatively inexpensive nitrogen lasers operating at 337 nanometers wavelength and the first commercial instruments introduced in the early 1990s brought MALDI to an increasing number of researchers. Today, mostly organic matrices are used for MALDI mass spectrometry. Topic: Matrix The matrix consists of crystallized molecules, of which the three most commonly used are 3,5-dimethoxy-4-hydroxycinnamic acid cinepinic acid, alpha-cyano-4-hydroxycinnamic acid alpha-CHCA, alpha-cyano or alpha-matrix and 2,5-dihydroxybenzoic acid DHB. A solution of one of these molecules is made, often in a mixture of highly purified water and an organic solvent such as acetonitrile ACN, or ethanol. A counter-ion source such as trifluoroacetic acid TFA is usually added to generate the M plus H ions. A good example of a matrix solution would be 20 mg per milliliter cinepinic acid in ACN, water, TFA, 50 to 50, 0 0.1. The identification of suitable matrix compounds is determined to some extent by trial and error, but they are based on some specific molecular design considerations. They are of a fairly low molecular weight to allow easy vaporization, but are large enough with a low enough vapor pressure not to evaporate during sample preparation or while standing in the mass spectrometer. They are often acidic, therefore act as a proton source to encourage ionization of the analyte. Basic matrices have also been reported. They have a strong optical absorption in either the UV or IR range, so that they rapidly and efficiently absorb the laser irradiation. 
This efficiency is commonly associated with chemical structures incorporating several conjugated double bonds, as seen in the structure of cinnamic acid. They are functionalized with polar groups, allowing their use in aqueous solutions. They typically contain a chromophore. The matrix solution is mixed with the analyte e protein sample. A mixture of water and organic solvent allows both hydrophobic and water-soluble hydrophilic molecules to dissolve into the solution. This solution is spotted onto a Maldi plate, usually a metal plate designed for this purpose. The solvents vaporize, leaving only the recrystallized matrix, but now with analyte molecules embedded into Maldi crystals. The matrix and the analyte are said to be co-crystallized. Co-crystallization is a key issue in selecting a proper matrix to obtain a good quality mass spectrum of the analyte of interest. In analysis of biological systems, inorganic salts, which are also part of protein extracts, interfere with the ionization process. The salts can be removed by solid phase extraction or by washing the dried droplet maldi spots with cold water. Both methods can also remove other substances from the sample. The matrix protein mixture is not homogeneous because the polarity difference leads to a separation of the two substances during co-crystallization. The spot diameter of the target is much larger than that of the laser, which makes it necessary to make many laser shots at different places of the target, to get the statistical average of the substance concentration within the target spot. The matrix can be used to tune the instrument to ionize the sample in different ways. As mentioned above, acid-base-like reactions are often utilized to ionize the sample, however, molecules with conjugated pi systems, such as naphthalene-like compounds, can also serve as an electron acceptor and thus a matrix for MALDI, TOF. This is particularly useful in studying molecules that also possess conjugated pi systems. The most widely used application for these matrices is studying porphyrin-like compounds such as chlorophyll. These matrices have been shown to have better ionization patterns that do not result in odd fragmentation patterns or complete loss of side chains. It has also been suggested that conjugated porphyrin-like molecules can serve as a matrix and cleave themselves eliminating the need for a separate matrix compound. Topic. Instrumentation There are several variations of the MALDI technology and comparable instruments are today produced for very different purposes. From more academic and analytical, to more industrial and high throughput. The MS field has expanded into requiring ultra-high resolution mass spectrometry such as the FTICR instruments as well as more high throughput instruments. As many MALDI MS instruments can be bought with an interchangeable ionization source, electrospray ionization, MALDI, atmospheric pressure ionization, etc., the technologies often overlap and many times any soft ionization method could potentially be used. For more variations of soft ionization methods, go to soft laser desorption or ion source. Topic: Laser MALDI techniques typically employ the use of UV lasers such as nitrogen lasers 337 nanometers and frequency tripled and quadrupled ND, YAG lasers 355 nanometers and 266 nanometers respectively. Infrared laser wavelengths used for infrared MALDI include the 2.94 micrometers ER, YAG laser, mid-IR optical parametric oscillator, and 10.6 micrometers carbon dioxide laser. Although not as common, infrared lasers are used due to their softer mode of ionization. IR MALDI also has the advantage of greater material removal useful for biological samples, less low mass interferences, and compatibility with other matrix-free laser desorption mass spectrometry methods. Topic. Time of flight The type of a mass spectrometer most widely used with MALDI is the TOF time of flight mass spectrometer, mainly due to its large mass range. The TOF measurement procedure is also ideally suited to the MALDI ionization process since the pulsed laser takes individual shots rather than working in continuous operation. MALDI TOF instrument or reflectron is equipped with an ion mirror 
that reflects ions using an electric field, thereby doubling the ion flight path and increasing the resolution. Today, commercial reflectron TOF instruments reach a resolving power m, delta m of well above 20,000 fwhm full width half maximum, delta m defined as the peak width at 50% of peak height. MALDI has been coupled with IMS TOF MS to identify phosphorylated and non-phosphorylated peptides. MALDI FTICR MS has been demonstrated to be a useful technique where high-resolution MALDI MS measurements are desired. Topic. Atmospheric pressure Atmospheric pressure AP, matrix assisted laser desorption, ionization MALDI, is an ionization technique ion source, that in contrast to vacuum MALDI operates at normal atmospheric environment. The main difference between vacuum MALDI and AP MALDI is the pressure in which the ions are created. In vacuum MALDI, ions are typically produced at 10 m tor or less while in AP MALDI ions are formed in atmospheric pressure. In the past the main disadvantage of AP MALDI technique compared to the conventional vacuum MALDI has been its limited sensitivity, however, ions can be transferred into the mass spectrometer with high efficiency and atomal detection limits have been reported. AP MALDI is used in mass spectrometry MS in a variety of applications ranging from proteomics to drug discovery. Popular topics that are addressed by AP MALDI mass spectrometry include, proteomics, mass analysis of DNA, RNA, PNA, lipids, oligosaccharides, phosphopeptides, bacteria, small molecules and synthetic polymers, similar applications is available also for vacuum MALDI instruments. The AP MALDI ion source is easily coupled to an ion trap mass spectrometer or any other MS system equipped with ESI electrospray ionization or nano C source. Topic: <inaudible> Ionization mechanism. The laser is fired at the matrix crystals in the dried droplet spot. The matrix absorbs the laser energy and it is thought that primarily the matrix is desorbed and ionized by addition of a proton by this event. The hot plume produced during ablation contains many species, neutral and ionized matrix molecules, protonated and deprotonated matrix molecules, matrix clusters and nanodroplets. Ablated species may participate in the ionization of analyte, though the mechanism of MALDI is still debated. The matrix is then thought to transfer protons to the analyte molecules e.g., protein molecules, thus charging the analyte. An ion observed after this process will consist of the initial neutral molecule M with ions added or removed. This is called a quasimolecular ion, for example M plus H plus in the case of an added proton, M plus Na plus in the case of an added sodium ion, or MH minus in the case of a removed proton. MALDI is capable of creating singly charged ions or multiply charged ions M plus NH N plus, depending on the nature of the matrix, the laser intensity, and or the voltage used. Note that these are all even electron species. Ion signals of radical cations photoionized molecules can be observed, e.g., in the case of matrix molecules and other organic molecules. The gas phase proton transfer model, implemented as the coupled physical and chemical dynamics CPCD model, of UV laser MALDI postulates primary and secondary processes leading to ionization. Primary processes involve initial charge separation through absorption of photons by the matrix and pooling of the energy to form matrix ion pairs. Primary ion formation occurs through absorption of a UV photon to create excited state molecules by S0 plus H nu S1 S1 plus S1 S0 plus tin 2 sulfide plus SN M plus plus M minus where S0 is the ground electronic state, S1 the first electronic excited state, and SN is a higher electronic excited state. The product ions can be proton transfer or electron transfer ion pairs, indicated by M plus and M minus above. Secondary processes involve ion molecule reactions to form analyze ions. The lucky survivor model cluster ionization mechanism postulates that analyte molecules are incorporated in the matrix maintaining the charge state from solution. Ion formation occurs through charge separation upon fragmentation of laser ablated clusters. 
Ions that are not neutralized by recombination with photoelectrons or counter ions are the so called lucky survivors. The thermal model postulates that the high temperature facilitates the proton transfer between matrix and analyte in melted matrix liquid. Ion to neutral ratio is an important parameter to justify the theoretical model, and the mistaken citation of ion to neutral ratio could result in an erroneous determination of the ionization mechanism. The model quantitatively predicts the increase in total ion intensity as a function of the concentration and proton affinity of the analytes, and the ion to neutral ratio as a function of the laser fluences. This model also suggests that metal ion adducts e.g., M plus Na plus or M plus K plus are mainly generated from the thermally induced dissolution of salt. The matrix-assisted ionization my method uses matrix preparation similar to MALDI but does not require laser ablation to produce analyte ions of volatile or nonvolatile compounds. Simply exposing the matrix with analyte to the vacuum of the mass spectrometer creates ions with nearly identical charge states to electrospray ionization. It is suggested that there are likely mechanistic commonality between this process and MALDI. Topic. Applications Topic. Biochemistry In proteomics, MALDI is used for the rapid identification of proteins isolated by using gel electrophoresis, SDS page, size exclusion chromatography, affinity chromatography, strong, weak ion exchange, isotope-coded protein labeling and two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. Peptide mass fingerprinting is the most popular analytical application of MALDI-TOF mass spectrometers. MALDI-TOF TOF mass spectrometers are used to reveal amino acid sequence of peptides using post-source decay or high-energy collision-induced dissociation further UC mass spectrometry. Loss of sialic acid has been identified in papers when DHB has been used as a matrix for MALDI-MS analysis of glycosylated peptides. Using sinapinic acid, 4-HCCA and DHB as matrices, S. Martin studied loss of sialic acid in glycosylated peptides by metastable decay in MALDI, TOF in linear mode and reflector mode. A group at Shimadzu Corporation derivatized the sialic acid by an amidation reaction as a way to improve detection sensitivity and also demonstrated that ionic liquid matrix reduces a loss of sialic acid during MALDI, TOFMS analysis of sialylated oligosaccharides. THAP, DHAP, and a mixture of 2-Aza-2-thiothymine and phenylhydrazine have been identified as matrices that could be used to minimize loss of sialic acid during MALDI-MS analysis of glycosylated peptides. It has been reported that a reduction in loss of some post-translational modifications can be accomplished if IR MALDI is used instead of UV maldine molecular biology. A mixture of 5-methoxysalicylic acid and spermine can be used as a matrix for oligonucleotides analysis in MALDI mass spectrometry, for instance after oligonucleotide synthesis. Topic: <laughs> Organic chemistry. Some synthetic macromolecules, such as catenanes and rotaxanes, dendromers and hyperbranched polymers, and other assemblies, have molecular weights extending into the thousands or tens of thousands, where most ionization techniques have difficulty producing molecular ions. MALDI is a simple and fast analytical method that can allow chemists to rapidly analyze the results of such syntheses and verify their results. Topic. Polymers In polymer chemistry MALDI can be used to determine the molar mass distribution. Polymers with polydispersity greater than 1.2 are difficult to characterize with MALDI due to the signal intensity discrimination against higher mass oligomers. A good matrix for polymers is dithranol or AGTFA. The sample must first be mixed with dithranol and the AGTFA added afterwards, otherwise the sample would precipitate out of solution. Topic. Microbiology 
Maldi TOF spectra are used for the identification of microorganisms such as bacteria or fungi. A portion of a colony of the microbe in question is placed onto the sample target and overlaid with matrix. The mass spectra generated are analyzed by dedicated software and compared with stored profiles. Species diagnosis by this procedure is much faster, more accurate and cheaper than other procedures based on immunological or biochemical tests. MALDI – TOF is becoming a standard method for species identification in medical microbiological laboratories. One main advantage over other microbiological identification methods is its ability to rapidly and reliably identify, at low cost, a wide variety of microorganisms directly from the selective medium used to isolate them. The absence of the need to purify the suspect or presumptive colony allows for a much faster turn around times. Another advantage is the potential to predict antibiotic susceptibility of bacteria. A single mass spectral peak can predict methicillin resistance of Staphylococcus aureus maldi can also detect carbapenemase of carbapenem-resistant Enterobacteriaceae, including Acinetobacter bomini and Klebsiella pneumoniae. However, most proteins that mediate antibiotic resistance are larger than MALDI TOF's 2000 to 20,000 Dalton's range for protein peak interpretation and only occasionally, as in the 2011 KPC outbreak at the NIH, a correlation between a peak and resistance conferring protein can be made. Topic: <laughs> Parasitology MALDI – TOF spectra have been used for the detection and identification of various parasites such as trypanosomatids, leishmania and plasmodium. In addition to these unicellular parasites, MALDI – TOF can be used for the identification of cercarii, the free-swimming stage of trematodes. Medicine MALDI – TOF spectra are often utilized in tandem with other analysis and spectroscopy techniques in the diagnosis of diseases. MALDI – TOF is a diagnostic tool with much potential because it allows for the rapid identification of proteins and changes to proteins without the cost or computing power of sequencing nor the skill or time needed to solve a crystal structure in X-ray crystallography. One example of this is necrotizing enterocolitis NEC, which is a devastating disease that affects the bowels of premature infants. The symptoms of NEC are very similar to those of sepsis, and many infants die awaiting diagnosis and treatment. MALDI – TOF was used to quickly analyze fecal samples and find differences between the mutant and the functional protein responsible for NEC. There is hope that a similar technique could be used as a quick, diagnostic tool that would not require sequencing. Another example of the diagnostic power of MALDI – TOF is in the area of cancer. Pancreatic cancer remains one of the most deadly and difficult to diagnose cancers. Impaired cellular signaling due to mutations in membrane proteins has been long suspected to contribute to pancreatic cancer. MALDI – TOF has been used to identify a membrane protein associated with pancreatic cancer and at one point may even serve as an early detection technique. MALDI – TOF can also potentially be used to dictate treatment as well as diagnosis. MALDI – TOF serves as a method for determining the drug resistance of bacteria, especially to beta-lactams penicillin family. The MALDI – TOF detects the presence of carbapenemases, which indicates drug resistance to standard antibiotics. It is predicted that this could serve as a method for identifying a bacterium as drug-resistant in as little as three hours. This technique could help physicians decide whether to prescribe more aggressive antibiotics initially. Topic. See also Peptide mass fingerprinting Pegylation MALDI imaging Matrix mass spectrometry